Isle of Town hosting Eastbourne Borough where they haven't actually beat Eastbourne in, in any of the last six meetings. So we need to change that around today. Uh, my name is Cairo Evans, I'm alongside Gary Thomas, who's just controlling the music at the moment. And in the meantime, uh, we'll give you the team news. Just one change for Slough Town, and it's his change up front, with Nathan Minas dropping to the bench, and Slavi, Slavi Spazov replacing him. So two changes for Eastbourne. Alex Finney out, Sam Beard is out. Coming in in their place is David Cisse and Musa Diara. Uh, the Slough players wearing uh, a shirt supporting prostate cancer. Uh, long throw coming to the box now. Temi Weka will go up and it's a bit messy from Slough, but eventually they clear it from their six-yard box. Only goes back out to the wing and David Obono can recover it from Pierce Beard, who couldn't quite collect it. Ball went forward, but only as far as uh, Brad Barry, the club captain. Good start from Eastbourne. Three points away from safety today as the ball comes in the box. It's loose and it's in. It's in. It's in already. And that's Musa Diara who scored for Eastbourne Borough. And we have a goal within the first minute again. Eastbourne with the lead, Slough didn't clear their lines and the big defender was lurking at the back post and ready to score. Eastbourne lead. Yeah, it already been a bit sloppy as you said there, Kiro, just from that long throw that had come in that Slough didn't deal with particularly well. Heads it for Gabe George. Back to Prosper in the centre circle. He sweeps it out wide for Josh Jackman. Back to Prosper. He goes early, pings it to Sparzov on the edge of the box to Obon. A good football from Slough. They keep it alive. Lynch loops it over the top for Goddard near the touchline. Goddard onto his right foot, puts the ball in the box. Oh, and a big cry around the ground as the ball's headed just wide. Great football from Slough. Would have been a lovely goal, but just goes wide by Dan Bayliss. It's gone really dark here at Upper Park. It feels like a horror movie, actually. I don't know where the sun has gone. Big. Here comes that rain. Yep, the rain you can now see in the background. The floodlight's not really lighting up the pitch so far. So it's all become very murky here in Berkshire as the corner comes in. Nice high ball. Dan Lincoln opts to punch it. It's not loose. The Corey Sheriff keeps it alive. Still, Eastbourne wants some. In it comes now. Pierce Bird's header comfortably saved by the Slough keeper. Long throw by Dan Lincoln. That's genius. And he's found a run here of Matt Lynch. Sparsy Sparsov's in the middle. Slough with a chance. Lynch in the box. Lynch, low ball, and the flag goes up to the nice Spazzy Spazov. Yeah, there's a fantastic idea there from Lincoln. You know, very capable with that huge throw that he's got. Found Lynch in acres of space on the right-hand side. And I must admit, from up here, we're not in line with it, but Spazov did look to be in front of the play there. Striker just needed to hold his run a little bit better for uh, what was a simple tap-in, but unfortunately ruled out. Score remains as uh, Slough nil, Eastbourne one. We are approaching the 20th minute. Slough nil, Eastbourne one. They're goal coming either just within or just over the minute mark. Musa Diara onto a loose ball after a slow Slough start, but they've been good since. Slavi Spazov having a goal ruled out for offside. Ball comes in the box. Oh, and it hit the foot of a Slough player and eventually fell for Dan Lincoln. Dan Lincoln trying to do one of his long throws, but he's being held back by uh, one of the players. I think it was Takari Sheriff, and Slough will win the free kick. It should be a yellow card, really. As I say, if Ogbonna can find the space, I think there's, uh, there's an opportunity there for Slough. As Iweka plays a long high ball forward in the sort of area of Sparzov, breaks nicely out to Prosper on the edge, just tries to get that ball through. Breaks to Sparzov again, moves it out to Goddard. Goddard cuts inside, moves it onto his right foot, trying to shoot, but lays it into Chapman. Slough now slow it back down, but have retained control. Out on that right-hand side now, Ogbonna up against Cissé, just looking at options, tries to bend one in low to the near post. Great save there. It's gone in for Slough. Spars off there with a nice tap in, but again, oh. again the assistant referee's flag has gone up. Slavi Spazov is fuming for a second time in half an hour. He's been denied a goal because of the offside flag. He just helped it in a couple of yards out, but the flag went up a couple of seconds later and no goal for Slau. Another great move though. A couple of people just heading off to get their refreshments, it looks like. We're heading towards half time. Ball's loose in the middle. Bamba with his chest down for Alfie Pendle. And his shot's deflected over the bar. And that was quite close from the away side. Here we go then. Could be the last chance of the half for Slough. Lynch's corner. It's good. Oh, and the header just white by, of course, the unluckiest man in Slough today, Slavi Spazov. Long throw for Eastbourne Borough. 63 gone, Slough Town nil, Eastbourne Borough one. 
He started today third bottom. And now they're going to throw as they look for a second goal. But it's headed away by Bayliss and then taken on the chest by uh, Lynch. Ball back in the air. It's going to fall maybe for Barry. He flicks it on, but it's loose for Lynch. Lynch loses it to Diara. Bad place to lose the ball. Here come Eastbourne. Ball flashed into the box, but it hits the side netting only from Yaya Bamba. Showing his pace and his precision, Bamba. Not quite the precision actually on the cross, but looking increasingly dangerous. The winger. Great season, of course, for George Elakobi. I've seen him on my TV screen so often this season because of the FA Cup run, but they're having a good league season as well. Look like a good bet for the playoff positions. There's an interesting comment there on George Elakobi's season because I think the expectations at Maidstone, particularly for the league season, were exceptionally high, and oh. I don't think he's been achieving in the league. Do you think the FA Cup has been a bit of a distraction? Well, I a think one. the FA Cup has probably been his saving grace, obviously, to. It's a fantastic achievement for them. Don't get me wrong, but I think it has masked uh, possibly uh, over optimistic expectations from the supporters. Interesting point. Scott Davis takes it forward for Minas. He's under pressure, gets it back to Jackman. Jackman slowly taking the ball forward, and there's a fight going on between Minas and a midfielder, and the midfielder's booked it. So I'll get the free kick. What was going on there? Scott Davis took it quickly. Jack was onto the ball. Jack was scores. And will the referee let that stand? He won't. And that is a third disallowed goal for Slough. Not good this so far. Eastbourne with a really good record against Slough and that will be continuing unless the Rebels can find something. <laughs> An absolute joke, says Leeds Rebel on the referee or the decision. Claire seeks us what the actual oh my G and uh, Rebel Spur says the ref can just I can't repeat that but yeah it's been a oh there's a shot and that's a save from Dan Lincoln what a save that is down to his right it was Alfie Bendel arriving late to tip it right towards the corner a great save from the style keeper and that was almost game over 15 to go Matt Lynch standing over this free kick Slough nil Eastbourne one Lynch with the free kick towards the back post headed away but loose for Goddard Ball back in, deflected, might fall for Minas, headed away, Minas tries to recover it. Here's Jackman edge of the box. Jackman keeps it alive. Goddard, onto his right foot, saved by the keeper! And it's on the fall for Minas! Oh, and Minas wide! Oh. Yeah, I think after that initial save, Chambers Berlinda got a foot onto it, and again, a superb block before that ball had fell into Minas. Eastbourne closing in, or looking for at least their first away win since December. Ball bounces over the head of Chambers Perillo. Scott Davis recovers it in the centre. Awkward header there by Cisse. Kukapaya trying to find a way through. He was fouled by Musa Diara. And Diara has already been booked. Slough want a second yellow card. They're not going to get one. No, no. Not for that one, not for me. Kukapaya just, uh, just noticed the ball past him but wasn't really sort of moving too far forwards at the time. Yes, another free kick for Slough. Both sides make their free changes. Both sides have now got all the players they can use on the pitch. We've got 11 minutes to go. Lynch's free kick into the box it comes. Hello! And in! Big goal for Slough! Chambers Perillo with a bullet header! And the Rebels are level with 10 to go! Simple. Simple, isn't it? Free kick into the box from Lynch. And yeah, lovely, lovely header there from Chambers Perillo. Just heading it back diagonally across the goal with a little little bit of a loop onto it and leaving just faults here just no chance there for the keeper so yes yeah, now one eastbourne one that's given the crowd that big lift as well and slough now i'm sure we'll be looking at kick on and trying to claim three points here at Arbor park not game over here lynch with the corner towards the back post there's a header it's still loose the keeper has to punch it away from his goal another corner for slough lynch is going to go long Three minutes to go. Slough believe they can find the winner here. They like a late goal, do Slough Town. Lynch with the ball forward. Chambers Brillon with the header. Away by Brad Barry. Oh, that was a crunching challenge that by Dan Quick. And here come Eastbourne. Slough are in trouble. Matt Green is two versus two. Matt Green enters the box. Step overs for Matt Green. Around Davis. And a big save from Dan Lincoln. Massive save from the Slough keeper. And this game is so open, both teams hitting each other on the counter-attack, finding spaces, both teams trying to find a winner. Lincoln with a huge save there from Matt Green. 90 seconds to go in what's become suddenly a really interesting and highly contested contest here. 
at Arbor Park as Eastbourne having the better chances and having the flow. Into the box they come, and a low effort by Finn Carter, I think that was, saved well by Dan Lincoln. Dan Lincoln with that trademark throw of his, intercepted by Diara, who lost his footing, slowing the throw in. This is brilliant. Chambers for along with the throw on, it's a poor throw, intercepted by Clark. It's so stretched because both sides are leaving men forward looking to win this game. And that was uh, Gabe George launching the ball forward for Cook Appiah. It's got a fall for Cook Appiah. Keepers out of position. Cook Appiah with the ball on the left hand side of the box. Takes it inside. Still with the ball. Cook Appiah. Let's fly! And here's the post! Unbelievable! And the lonely from Willstone almost sent this place into meltdown. Still we go on. Less than a minute to go. In the box, the ball comes. Cleared by Clark. Cook Appiah smacking the post with an unbelievable effort. Davis slips. Matt Green takes it forward. He puts the ball over the top now. For the Aust Amer Australian striker. And of course came Temi and Wecker. It was Finn ba Matt Barra and Matt Bride who came forward. And the Wecker's taken him out with a ferocious tackle. Uh, Gabe George to play it short to Lynch. Lynch onto his right foot. Puts the ball towards the back post. Lynch is crossed. And it's tipped over the ball by the keeper. He misjudged the cross and it almost found its way to the net. But Slough going to have a corner with just seconds left here, Gary. Yeah, I was just about to curse Lynch in there for a poor delivery, but it's one of those ones that kind of loops over and nearly sneaks in at the back post. Lynch, though, jogs across to take the corner on this uh, near side for us. This might be the last chance. Lynch's corner. Header! Oh, my goodness! It's inches over the bar! And Slough couldn't have been closer. Who was it? Was that a Wecker? Couldn't quite see in the scrum of bodies who it was. It was a Wecker over the bar. And they've come so, both teams have come so close. I have no idea how we haven't got a third goal in this frantic last 10 minutes. God, I was going to flick the ball forward. As we said, seconds to go, and not even that. Wow! Early goal from Eastbourne. They took the lead in the first two minutes, Musa Diara, then Slavi Sparsov with two disallowed goals, and then Josh Jackman with a disallowed goal in the second half. But forget all about that because it was all about the last 10 minutes. A brilliant game of football suddenly broke out. Dan Lincoln having to make two big saves. Uh, Eweka heading over in the final seconds, and Trey Kokopaya coming off the bench just smacked the bar, smacked the post after Leon Chambers Prillon got the equaliser. A fantastic game of football in the end, but two drop points for Slough. Most important thing is they've kept that unbeaten record going, but playoffs just edging further away from them. They had to win today, and they haven't won. A point for Eastbourne in their relegation fight, and a point for Slough as well. What a game this was in the end. Slough Town won, Eastbourne Borough won.